Hi everybody, it's Tatiana and today I'm coming to share with you my TBR for the Tone Topper Readathon. This is round 7 of Tone Topper. I did participate in like the first 4 rounds because it happens twice a year. So, I have already put in my plan and my desire for this fall into winter to read more tomes or more of the tomes on my bookcase. And so this actually falls for me at a perfect time with what I'm planning to read. So I'm participating. There are challenges. One is to read at least one tome. I think the other, another is a, to buddy read a tome. One is to do a gra to read a graphic novel. Um, and I can't remember. There are like five challenges and I can't remember what the rest of them, the other two are. I am not participating in any of the challenges outside of reading a tome. The books that I plan to read, I don't think anyone else is attempting to read. I have not gone to check the Goodreads uh, group. I'm not really active on Goodreads like talking about anymore. I'm about to just stop doing updates on Goodreads because I don't rate books on Goodreads anymore. I think I phased out of using that because I have started using some other apps that I like better than Goodreads. Not that they are social apps, but they're just apps to allow me to track my reading and I like them better. Anyway, totally tangential to the point of this video. So I'm going to get on with what I plan to read for Tom Topple. Now, I am being very ambitious and I have picked three books. I will probably not finish one of these three books during Tone Topple, it all depends on how I am feeling as I'm reading the book and how dense the book is. So, the book that I will be starting the readathon with is The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. I cannot remember what people have been calling this or describing this as. I think it's Silk Punk. Um, and I have been wanting to read this since I got it. I want to say I purchased it from Book Outlet in 2016. And I have not read it yet. So I have got to get on this. The, the second book is out and shoot. The third book may be out if there's a third book. This is book one in what is called the Dandelion Dynasty, I believe. And so, yeah, I really want to get this get to this. This has 618 pages. And if you don't know... A tome is a book with 500 pages or more. I actually have a tome recommendations video that I have done after response on my previous, my non-tome cold month reading recommendations. Somebody, a couple people said they wanted, they were open to tome recommendations. So I did a video of that. So if you want to check that, I don't know if I've gotten it uploaded before I upload this TBR. Uh... If it is, it will be linked below or it's probably the video right before this one. Just like scroll. The next book on my TBR is Night Film by Marisha Pestle. I have no idea what this is about. I bought this. I want to say I got this from, yep, I got this from Dollar Tree because it's got the best stuff. This is the Dollar Tree tag on the back. <laughs> Um, it was a dollar, and it's supposed to be horror, and really, really chilling, and really creepy, and that is, like, perfectly appropriate for fall. So, this is on the list, and this has 587 pages. And then the last of the three books, and in comparison to the previous two, this is so freaking lightweight because it's a paperback. It's so light in my hand. The Winter Sea by Susanna Kearsley. I don't know anything, again, about what this is about. I purchased this in one of the, in fact, at this point, the second to last library sale I went to. Um, Bree from Bree Hill really enjoys Susanna Kearsley's books, and I have been wanting to get in on it. And I tried reading another book of hers that I just, I couldn't get into it, and I thought that, that was going to be telling for me as far as enjoyment of this author. But then Brie actually talked about reading or attempting to read that book, and she didn't like it either. So I was like, okay, darn it, now I need to try another book. So I'm going to try The Winter Sea, and this has 533 pages. The readathon goes from November 16th to November 29th. It is two weeks. 
So you could like read a tome in a week, which I have done before. So it is doable. We'll see if I do it. <laughs> and that's all that I have for this video today. I almost forgot to say I will be posting updates on my Instagram Insta stories if you want to see kind of like in a vlog manner how this is going. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my account is linked in the description box below. Check there if you want to see how things are going while this read-along is going on or what else I'm dealing with while this read-along is going on. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a good week, weekend, whenever you see this video. Peace out.